Hi everybody, welcome to my apartment here in the lovely Copenhagen. Hey Martin. I also have a dog. Hi everybody, my name is Soren and welcome to this restoration project. Today I'm going to be restoring these speakers, the JBL L100 Century. This pair works perfectly fine. Everything is just cosmetics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repaint the front. I'm going to address the veneer, I'm going to shine it up, oil it, and we'll end up with a pair of speakers that not only sounds as new, but also looks the part. Thank you for joining in. So, what is it about the JBL L100 Century that makes it so notorious? First off, the speaker is a classic. It might be one of the few speakers you can truly call an icon of the 70s. It first emerged in 1969 as a professional studio monitor called the JBL 4310. At the same time, 8-track recorders were emerging in the market making it possible for low-budget studios and low-budget music makers to build and produce music. All of these studios needed a good, fairly priced professional studio monitor, and the choice would fall on the 4310. Two years later, in 1971, the JBL L100 consumer version was released. And just like the professional studio monitor, it was a huge success. Through the 70s, the L100 would go through two revisions, meaning that it exists in three different versions. The original JBL L100 Sentry, an L100 Sentry second version with a different tweeter, and then the later L100 without Sentry on the label. If you're more interested in the history and the differences between these speakers, you can read on the article I've written on my blog. Link is available in the description.
So the speakers are done, the restoration is complete and they look and sound just as they should. I'm going to ship these puppies up to my friend now who I hope is going to enjoy them just as much as I have. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you won't miss future projects just like this one. For now, thanks for watching, take care, bye.